Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Blevin Robinson with the West Coast Cajun Cuisine. And today's video, bacon wrapped crab stuffed mushroom. Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to cook authentic Cajun cuisine, comfort food, and just about anything for that matter, then you've come to the right place. Click the subscription button and that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Now today's video, bacon wrapped crab stuffed mushrooms. Now I've made crab stuffed mushrooms a couple of times for a couple of dinner parties with some friends, but I've never wrapped them in bacon yet. And you talk about next level deliciousness. Look, we're just gonna go ahead and cut to the chase here. Let's head to the kitchen and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Welcome to the kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go ahead and get started and uh, we're gonna go over these ingredients real quick. We have our bacon, our mushrooms. We have about a cup of crab meat. This is crab claw meat. This is all I could find in my local grocery store at the moment. Um, if you can't find crab meat, you can use imitation crab. Some people like it better than real crab. I don't know why, but they do. But this dish is actually really good with imitation crab meat. I have had it once before, so you can use that. We're gonna do about about a quarter cup to a half cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. I got a tablespoon and a half of butter here. Got a tablespoon of breadcrumb. I have a half cup of finely chopped onion, half cup of finely chopped celery, and a half cup of finely chopped bell pepper. I have about a teaspoon of finely chopped parsley here, a teaspoon of minced garlic, my Cajun seasoning blend, which I'll leave the recipe to in the description below. And we're gonna have a teaspoon of finely chopped mushroom. So that's our ingredients. Let's go ahead and start prepping our mushrooms. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and prep these uh, mushrooms. As you can tell, I already have a few done. I don't wanna bore you with doing all of the mushrooms, so I'm just gonna show you the last one here. First thing we're gonna do is take a damp cloth and just kinda wipe off the dirt here. Um, I don't wanna soak them in water or wash them under the sink because they're just gonna get all soggy and soft that way. So I just take a nice damp cloth, make sure I get some, all this dirt off the top there. Then what we're gonna do is just go ahead and pop the stem out here, just like that. And what I like to do is take this little small knife, let me grab this little bowl here, and just cut the little ring. Just cut a little ring out here, it just makes life easier so I don't tear up the mushroom. I wanna to try to get as much crab in here as I can, as much of this stuffing that we're about to make. Once I do that, take this spoon here and just scrape all this little brown, these little brown bits and stuff out of here. Just make a nice cavity to fit the stuffing. That's all you wanna do. I mean, you got a pretty good chunk of mushroom here, so the more stuff you can get in here, the more flavor you're gonna pack into this mushroom. So once you do that, get a nice little cavity, and that's that. So then what I like to do just as a little bit more filling is take these little stems, we'll cut it in half, and then cut the halves in half. So we're gonna quarter the stems like that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and chop. It's a nice fine chop. Let's go ahead and get them nice and small. And it adds a nice little filling to the stuffing. All right, so now we got our mushrooms prepared. I'm gonna go ahead and move them to this baking sheet. All right, and so uh, now what we're gonna do is get our stuffing prepared. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is melt this butter. It's all nice and melted here in this pan. Once we do that, oh, this looks good. We're gonna go ahead and add the onion. The celery. And the bell pepper. We're just gonna go ahead and saute these until they get nice and soft. Gonna go 
ahead and get this up to a medium heat. So we're gonna go ahead and saute these down for about five minutes or so till our onions start be becoming translucent. Just wanna soften these vegetables up here a little bit and then we'll start adding the rest of the ingredients. Now I've made these a few times already, mainly a little appetizer for some uh, dinner parties I've had with some friends. But today is the first time I've wrapped them in bacon. These ought to be delicious. Now I got the idea to wrap them in bacon because a buddy of mine came over for Father's Day and we did crab stuffed bacon wrapped jalapenos. Ooh, and we put them on the grill. Man, those were freaking delicious. So today I'm gonna wrap my mushrooms in bacon. Bacon makes everything better, right? <laughs> Anyway, we'll come back when this is ready for the rest of the ingredients. All right, so these vegetables are starting to look pretty good here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the mushrooms that we chopped up earlier, the mushroom stems. And the garlic. Oh my Lord, this is starting to smell good. Mm, mm, mm. That's what I'm talking about right here. Now look, if you're not a fan of like crab or seafood, stuff like that, you can make this same exact recipe, but just omit the crab. Maybe use some uh, sausage or something or ground meat or whatever you like, chicken even, you know. I would take maybe some um, some smoked sausage or chicken if you prefer, put it in a food processor so you can kind of grind it up a little bit. Do it that way. This is a pretty versatile dish, but um, I love crab meat. And uh, this really, the crab just kind of gives it that, that uniqueness. Yeah, it's starting to look real good. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Man, a little, little bit of seasoning here. Not much. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fire off. I'm gonna add a crab meat. Fire, we'll turn the heat off here. Go ahead and add the crab meat. The residual heat should be enough to go ahead and carry this over. Crab meat doesn't need to be cooked, it's already cooked. We just want to heat it through. And we want enough residual heat to melt the cheese that we're going to put in here in just a second. All right, that looks good. Let me go ahead and get the cheese. I had another block here that I've been using. I don't want to open up that brand new one. Go ahead and grate some fresh Parmesan. that all nice and melted in there. Oh yeah. There we go. I'm gonna ahead and turn this back on, put it on low. Just so that we can get that cheese nice and melted. I think that ought to be good enough. Here we're going to add the breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs are just a binder and you can tell I didn't use the whole thing here. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. It kind of helps everything stick together. You know what? I want more cheese. course that melted cheese is going to help it all stick together as well. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut the heat. Yeah, this is starting to look. This is going to be crazy good, yo. The smell in here is just ridiculous right now. All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and set this aside. Let that cool. 
Grab those mushrooms, we're gonna start stuffing them and wrapping them. All right, so now that the crab mixture has cooled a bit, we're gonna go ahead and start stuffing these mushrooms. So what we're gonna do is just take a little spoonful of the mixture and just pile it in like that. Basically, we're just gonna wrap them up like so. So I cut them just long enough to where they will wrap all the way around the mushroom. I really don't want them to overlap too much because then it won't cook right. So we'll go ahead and get the rest of these and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the oven that I had preheated to 375 degrees. I'm gonna put them in there for about 10 to 15 minutes or so. I'm gonna start checking them at 10 minutes and then uh, it just kind of depends on how long it's gonna take. We wanna make sure our, our bacon is crispy, but we don't wanna burn the mushroom at the same time. The bacon should, uh, as it starts to cook, the grease should keep that mushroom nice and moist and yummy. And uh, we'll go, we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna go pop these in the oven and we'll be back. All right, we're back. It actually took 30 minutes for me to get the bacon where I wanted it, nice and crispy. These look amazing. I took them out, plated them up, let them cool off. And now we get to dive in, try these out. I'm gonna take this one right here. Oh my lord, look at that. Mmm. Like I said, I made these a couple times before, but never wrapped in bacon. This is next level right here. The bacon just... You know what? I'm not even gonna talk anymore. I'm gonna finish this off. Catch you guys back at studio. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know what I lied. I'm gonna talk. Mm. My Lord in heaven. Whoo! So, I was right. I was a little bit worried about these drying out because I figured it was gonna take a little bit longer for them to cook because of the bacon. But as the bacon cooked, the mushrooms and the stuffing just soaked up all that bacon fat. Man, you gotta try this out. Here's the cool thing. So I baked these, right? 375 degrees, 30 minutes. You can throw them on your grill, grill them, smoke them. You can probably do, a, there's a variety of things you could probably do with these. Um, baking these turned out wonderful. And honestly, um, you could smoke them and it probably would be great, but the bacon adds that kind of smokiness to them. Freaking wonderful. I'm gonna have another. I think, I think this time I'm gonna go ahead and cut it back to the, to the studio, guys, because um, I'm about to pig out. Woo. See y'all later. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. Bacon wrapped crab stuffed mushrooms. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I'd really appreciate that. Now, next week is a two part video. I'm going to show you how to make homemade pasta, and then we're going to put that in a blackened chicken alfredo sauce. Man, that turned out so good. I made this for a friend of mine. It was her birthday, the family came over. I wanted to make something that the kids and everybody would enjoy, and this came out way better than I was expecting. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that recipe, and hopefully you'll enjoy it the same as we did. So don't forget, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys next week.